my name is Louise Voice and I'm a Relationship Manager for Active Essex and as part of that role I um, develop work for the Active Essex Foundation which is an independent charity that has been set up to work with um, deprived communities and those grassroots organisations that work in those communities across Essex. One of the first projects that the Active Essex Foundation developed was the Canvey Get Set Youth Project. Two years ago we came along to a consortium meeting and we worked with a range of partners, the local police, the youth service, the local council, the leisure services and Yellow Door and the public health service and we decided that actually something needed to be done because we had an amazing skate park that you can see behind me but actually it wasn't being used in the right way and we decided that we wanted to work together to bring some resources to these young people so that they could engage in more positive activities. My name is Alex Dobinson and I'm the manager of Yellow Door. Yellow Door is a youth organisation. Um, we give advice, information, support, counselling and we also do activities. Canvey Get Set Youth has been running for two years now. We started with the youth bus and talked to young people at the skate park and asked what they would like us to do. They wanted um, parkour, they'd like some graffiti artists. They're really interested in sports and now we do dodgeball and basketball and lots of things which is going really, very, really, very well. And, and then the skate jam which has been amazing, two years of skate jams and they come, they do competitions and just, just it's been good. My name is Ricky Joe Williams and I'm a District Youth and Community Commissioner for Essex County Council Youth Service and I'm responsible for the Castle Point area. We support Yellow Door to run this event and this project using our resources, our buses, uh, providing training for their volunteers. At the moment we're actually running this event at Waterside Farm. It is identified as a hotspot area for uh, gangs and county lines. So that's why the youth provisions are here to try and do some early intervention with young people to ensure that we're upskilling them and about keeping themselves safe. And there are kind of um, county lines within the island, so that's why we work really closely with the police. So we're sharing information and putting things in place for young people to support them and to give them some positive activities and realising that there is other things they can do. I'm PC Summers, I'm from the Castle Point and Rochford CPT team. We look after all the community policing issues in the area. We come here just to get involved, answer any questions that they have, because a lot of different communities come together in places like skate parks and parks in general really. Um, it's where a lot of activity happens for children in their childhood um, and then they can get out, be active, integrate with other people and build confidence as well. Um, it's important to do that in a safe place and a safe environment and having people like you in, on team, um, they're able to do that safely. When like, people see a group of like, young children at a skate park doing wheelies, they think like, oh, they're going to get into trouble, but not really. We like, learn to do new tricks and like, things on our bikes to keep us out of trouble. Okay, so the Canvey Get Set Youth Project is, um, is our biggest partnership agreement group that we actually have with the Essex Youth Service in the Castle Point. It's been a massive success with different partners coming together, sharing resources, sharing staff, sharing activities and working together with doing a united front for the local area. It's given young people the opportunity to get engaged in positive activities, um, opportunities for training with volunteers, to take ownership of the project as well. It has reduced the antisocial behaviour of within Waterside since we've been here with the, the project as a whole. It's also given partnership agreements and opportunities for Waterside to work alongside youth provisions, given opportunities for young people to take apprenticeships within sports as well, and that's just one small little project within Canvey Island which had a huge success and some huge outcomes. It was really important to us that we found out what the youth wanted in the area, what they were interested in and what they actually would come along to if we decided to deliver this work. Um, and through that we worked with them to work up a proposal that went into the funder, the People's Health Trust, and we were lucky enough to get two years of funding which then allowed us to deliver weekly sessions um, with a range of sports and positive activities. We had training to upskill young volunteers as sports leaders. We brought them together during the holidays um, and offered a holiday hunger programme for young people that were on free school meals um, that maybe wouldn't get the nutritious meals and positive activities that they needed in, during the holidays. Um, and we've been able to put on lots of different events like the skate jam that you see here today. Um, we're now at the end of our two years of funding and the impact that the project's had has been amazing. You can really see a change in the area and the parents tell us this, the local young people, the police um, and we really need this to continue.